a life without Jesus Christ. Listen, this is not a Christian concept. One day, sooner or later, we will learn that anything minus Jesus is truly a waste of time. Hallelujah. Do you believe that? Yes. Gratitude goes to God. I think it's Psalm 103 that says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. All that is within me, praise his holy name. Verse 2 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. What are they? Verse 3. It says, Who forgiveth all thine iniquities? That is the first benefit. Number two, Who healed all thy disease? Three, four, Who redeemed your life, preservation from destruction? Four, Honor, Who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercies? Five, Who satisfied thy mouth, provision with good things, so that thy youth is renewed? What kind of food do you eat that your youth is renewed? Do you not know that the prophet said there is death in the pot? There is what you can eat to your death. But when it is God feeding you, you will eat in a way that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Hallelujah. Daniel chapter 2 from verse 20, I believe. That scripture just came to my spirit. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever. Listen, he says, For wisdom and might are his. That means it is his property. If you ever see any man walking in divine wisdom, he's only a caretaker. It came from God. Genuine, authentic wisdom that has proof comes from God. For wisdom and might are his. 21. He says, and he changed the times and seasons, this God. He removed kings and he set it up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. 22. He revealed the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness and light dwelleth with him. The last verse. It says, I thank thee and praise thee, O thou God of my fathers, who has given me wisdom and might and has made known unto me now what we desired of thee, for thou hast now made unto us the king's matter. This is a man acknowledging God, the giver of wisdom. And so we thank God for every good thing that he has given. And to him be all the glory. You see, deep contemplation I think it's God's servant, Bishop David Oedipo, that says, only great fools are not grateful. That means if you can be thoughtful, if you can sit down and think about your life. I'm not talking of praying. Just sit down. The accidents that would have cost your life, one second to have missed an opportunity you got that changed your life. When you think about these things that look like coincidences, you begin to see the finger of God directing your life. How you met the person you met and the blessings that came from there. How you listened to that message you thought was a coincidence that opened up your spirit to another dimension and now you have become a preacher. There are no coincidences with God. It is the mighty hand of God. And so in one minute while you are seated, I know I'm thanking my God, but can you join me to say thank you? Find something that you say thank you to the Lord Jesus for. If you don't have something to tell the Lord, you are not serious. Find something in the name of Jesus. You have done me well. You have done me well. You have done me well, Jesus. You have done me well. You have done me well. You have done me well. You have done me well, you have done me well, you have done me well, Jesus. You have done me well, you have done me well, you have done me well, Jesus. As I took out time to reflect on my own life, I just began to nod my head and I was, I was literally, I'm not an emotional person. People say I don't cry. I say you are joking. You are just not there when I cry. I don't cry. I don't waste my tears for vanities, but I cry. When it is time to cry before God 
and I sat back thinking about my life is such a great blessing to be me and I'm grateful to God I took out time to say thank you thank you thank you this is already a message for someone you came here grumbling complaining I was told the story of someone who was angry with God and life and he got a rope and was looking for a corner to hang himself angrily moving and while he carried the rope and he was on his way going he saw some beggar who was seated and was watching him and he said sir where are you going he said to hang myself I'm tired of God tired of life and he said please two requests since you are going to die can you remove your clothes and help me with it after all you are going to die so what are you covering again and the man stood there and thought oh these clothes I'm wearing that I take for granted is someone's prayer point some of you have come writing all kinds of things and you will receive but you see you must always pay attention to the things that he has done and the things that he's doing for life for health for wisdom you may not have money but all your friends are godly people you may not have resources at the moment but there is wisdom there is understanding of scripture hallelujah we thank you in Jesus name so gratitude is something that I learned is a powerful spiritual mystery gratitude is a multiplier please listen everybody gratitude is a multiplier anything you say thank you for you are authorized to have more of let me take it again gratitude is a multiplier anything you can thank God for you are authorized to have more of it father thank you for wisdom what you just said is Lord I'm ready for a higher dimension of wisdom thank you for 10 naira you are saying I'm ready for 100 naira you grumble over 10 naira you are ready for an empty pocket are we together to subscribe for more in the spirit by thanking God for what he has done Lord I'm trusting you for this level of the anointing this level of wealth this level of influence I am a pastor thank you because I have 10 members who are faithful and God says you can thank me for 10 members you are ready for 30 thank you oh God for 100 you are ready for a thousand hallelujah you must learn gratitude learn gratitude this is my first message to you my precious people and then to the body of Christ there are many legitimate reasons to complain many legitimate reasons to see as though God was supposed to have done this and has not done that once you program yourself to always see what God is doing for the things you have done for the battles you have won only you are worthy of my praise we magnify your name for the things you have done and the battles you have won only you are worthy of my praise we magnify your name one more time for the things you have done and the battles you have won only you are worthy of my praise do you know when you get busy thanking god you will not even know when the next miracles arrive while you are waiting don't sit down wondering waiting in unbelief will plant anger in your heart are we together and become a blockade to do, to the blessings that are on their way to you always see what God is doing this is a message for someone like our dear sister the very touching testimony there apostle I'm still waiting for a child but thank God you have a, a sensible husband that you can have a child with are we together there are people who have children one is an armed robber the other is a prostitute the other one is in the prison are we together the other one is in court what kind of children are those will you like to have those kind of children and they sit down and admire barren people and they say it was better I never had a child that is the hand of God there are others oh God you have not prospered me if you had prosperity without an understanding of preservation they would have killed you right from your village for being for being a prosperous person they would tear your destiny into pieces but God preserved you listen I'm not wasting your time I'm teaching you how to live with wisdom to thank God 
I live a very, very grateful life all the time. But at special moments like this in my life, I take out time to thank him. And don't you think I'm thanking him just because of the results and what he's made out of my life? I tell you sincerely, even if it was not the case today, I would still be grateful. It's a culture you must practice. You sit down with a cup of gari, you say thank you while you are taking it. Don't just admire someone and say, God, are you not alive? Leave all those things and say thank you. Hallelujah. For someone, this is the message for you. Don't, don't sit down wondering, God, won't you do this? I know it's human, but make sure that your heart is ever grateful. One more time, say thank you, Jesus. I'm seeing so many people outside. Those of you outside, shout a loud hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord, the hand of God. You are a man of God here in ministry. Thank God, oh. Don't sit down and say, God, when will you bring members? When will you bring this? When will I smile too? When will I become a celebrity? And God will say, the day you don't want to become, the day you forget about that and focus on me, when I become the epicenter of your life, that is the day you experience my hand. Hallelujah. My first message for you tonight is to be grateful as a culture. Don't wait until notable events happen in your life before you are grateful. Your gratitude must be a practice that comes to you by revelation. You get up in the morning, you thank him. There's a song we used to sing. Whenever I see another breaking of day, I say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Whenever I see another breaking of day, I say thank you. Some of you, the way you slept, if, if you had died like that, you would have gone to hell straight because you were not even saved. But you woke up and now today is a chance for you to be saved.